Hello Tations everybody, this is Rod and welcome to another installment of what I would like to see in WWE 2K14 or subsequent WWE video games. Now, I'm in my WWE mode and I want to, wanted to go here to show you better than tell you about the next feature that I would like to see in some of the future installments of the WWE series games. Now, we're at Daniel Bryan, I'm going to say his main rival is Randy Orton. This feature is really easy to, you know, put in if they do it. I, it look, it seems easy to me. Um, so made his main rival Randy Orton accept. Um, back. Okay. And then we're gonna go to play in. For this, we're gonna go to Royal Rumble just to prove the point. Ten man Royal Rumble. We're gonna go to com. Um, we're gonna let it load for a little bit. Then we're gonna go to change participants. Now we're gonna go to Santino, just you know, for example. Um, then we're gonna go to accept, and then we're gonna press square for superstar category, sort category. You got random, you got champions, all the champions show up. You got custom superstar, all the custom superstars show up. You got attitude era, all the attitude era, you know, roster shows up. And then you got the default roster, and you know, and then you got about overalls. Now. What I'm thinking here is for a sort category, we could have, let's say, a one-on-one -on -one match. And you can make the sort category ally, a uh, rival. So let's say you pick Daniel Bryan. And then you could go to, you could have this option come up, a sort category. And you could make the randomizers the rivals you have. Let's say, I mean, of course, if it's Randy Orton, it's going to go straight to Randy Orton. But if you have, like, all four of the rival slots, or all five of the rival slots, it's going to pick randomly between the five rivals. So, that's the feature that I would like to see in the game. Um, at some point, done in this fashion, um, it's just a matter of application making this feature happen. Um, I also want to say... Somewhat of an announcement, a brief announcement is that once Grand Theft Auto 5 comes out this coming Tuesday and I purchase it from this day forward, I will also be doing videos of what I would like to see on Grand Theft Auto 5. Um, I will not cancel out the WWE series videos of what, I, what cool features I would like to see brought into that game. Um, I'll be doing both. Um, most likely on the same day that I do the WWE videos, I'll do a Grand Theft Auto video. Um, but Grand Theft Auto 5 is gonna, it's already boasting so many features and things on it that, um, I may not do as many as I have done with the WWE games. Um, and also we'll be doing a review of Grand Theft Auto 5, and I will be continuing these WWE series, WWE videos up until the release of WWE 2K14 and after I review that then that's when I'll continue doing the what I would like to see in the game videos because we're gonna see if I mean already some of the features I have thought would be cool to be in the game have made it into the game um once well they I do know that they have seven new arena types and I pitch them having halftime heat as one of the templates for custom arenas so they got seven new arena types maybe that could be one of them uh, maybe I have to look at the video again to see which types they had but uh, some of the features um, that I can't think of right off the top of my head right now have made it into the game so once I'm gonna do I'm gonna keep the these videos going up until the release of WWE 2k14 I'm gonna buy the game I'm going to review it, and then I'll start back doing those. So, yeah. Just thought I'd inform you all of that. Um, and if you leave a comment, uh, let's give it a theme. Leave what you are looking forward to most of seeing come out about WWE 2K14 up until its release. Me, yeah, I like Hulk Hogan being in the game. I like Warrior being in the game. Uh, I was watching Smack Talks videos, and... They have this feature now, similar to SmackDown 2, where they say you can use Superstar Heads and create a wrestler mode. That's great. Um, I pitched something similar to that for um, parts. Like, let's say, for example, you have um, 
you have Cody Rhodes, and you can't give him Triple H's knee pads or Ahmed Johnson's knee pads, but you can decide if he has knee pads on or off. Because in real life, Cody Rhodes has wrestled with knee pads off. So they implement the head create part, like on SmackDown 2, which is actually what he demonstrated. And I think that's a cool new feature. But, you know, what I'm looking to forward to most, them bringing information out of, is the online. I have to have a good online. And in 2013, everybody who buys video games, after they flip the game and they complete the story mode, now it's just online. They just want to play online. So, I'm looking forward to the internet, the online feature being expanded upon and fixed. After all the glitches that were in WWE 13. That's why I look forward to them speaking about. So let me know in the comments what you're looking forward to most being disclosed about the game. Who do you want to be on the game? If they're going to be on it and things like that. What new matches you hope to see in it and stuff like that in the comments section. Now, sorry for this video being so long. But thank you for watching if you did. And have a nice day. Thanks.